Yeah, he's in great form. I thought it was a, a very good run at, uh, at Newbury. Um, the, both fillies in front and behind him have both come out and won their Oaks trial since. So he's bang on for the, the Cock Tat at Goodwood next week, next Saturday, I think it is. Friday, Saturday. Um, so he's in great form, yeah. Really worked very, very well this morning. And you've had a lot of good horses through your hands. I know you think a lot of him. How, how, how hard do you think he can go? Oh, I think, you know, he's fourth in a group one as a two year old. I, can, I think he can win one as a three year old. And is the one in the back of your mind you, you think he could end up or a nice big target later on in the season? Well, we'll see how we go. I mean, he, he's got good wood and then we'll take, hopefully take him to Ascot for the Edward the Seventh, and then kind of let it develop on from there. We'll see from there. And another horse for Goodwood is Sparkplug, I believe. Yeah, he's in, he's in also in tremendous form, ran well in the, uh, the Earl of Sefton. And there's a mile and a quarter listed race at Goodwood. I'm trying to remember the name of it, I can't, unfortunately. So he goes there. Uh, and that's kind of, you know, we'll see from there where he goes if he can, if he can step up. And one for Royal Ascot, I think, um, Winfast for the Diamond Jubilee. Yeah, I mean, he's, uh, again, he ran very well at the, uh, the Craven meeting. You know, he's, uh, he's a difficult horse to keep right. I don't want to waste any runs with him. Um, he's in tremendous shape at the moment, and I'm going to take him straight there, and he'd be, you know, he'd, have a, he'd, have a, he'd be a big price, and he'd be a big each-way chance.